One day I was singing for a birthday party in the nursing home, playing my guitar, and all of a sudden my hand just was not hitting the strings, and I was standing there in front of all these people, you know, that had been awakened from their nap time to hear me sing, and I was standing there and I couldn't deliver what they were there for. I just noticed that my right arm would not swing, it just hung at my side. I and mean, I started to notice my handwriting was like a little scribble. I went to my doctor and I was pulling my hair out and I um, thought I had heart problems. He decided to go see a psychologist because it, was, it seemed like he was having a lot of anxiety. The first five minutes we talked, he said, you need to see a, a, a neurologist. I didn't really know what a movement specialist was. I was thinking it was probably more like a PT or something that I was going to see to get more exercises to do for my leg. Well, I remember getting off the elevator and seeing the sign that said uh, Parkinson's Disorder Center, Movement and Disorder Center, and I thought, hmm. I just told him, you know, what my symptoms were and he could see my tremor. He just basically said, yeah, I'm, I think, you know, this is what you have. Simple as that. They checked my balance, they pushed me, pushed me, pushed me back, had me walk and apparently my arm wasn't swinging, so that was another classic sign that I had Parkinson's. We were just sitting at the kitchen, around the kitchen table, and said, I've got Parkinson's, and it was just kind of like, what does that mean? You know, you're just blindsided. It's not what you expect your husband to come home after a day of work in your 40s, that, oh, I've got this disease. I was most worried about the future, the long term, what's gonna happen to Debbie and even our relationship. How bad will it be? Just scared of the future, scared of what does this mean? Is, you know, are you gonna, can you take her to school in the morning or can you pick her up? Or, you know, are you gonna be here to help with college? Or, you know, what's, what's gonna happen? I mean, just take it, taking the medicine or the honeymoon phase or whatever they call it was so great. I remember being so excited because I could fix my hair and button buttons and get dressed and it was great. My tremors is the only the only symptom I have that really bothers me, but I've still cut my husband's hair. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Maybe part of it is getting older too. But without the Parkinson's, I would not have I would not have stopped to smell the roses near as much. We raised uh, fifteen thousand dollars the first year, and I said I can do better than that this year. And I raised thirty thousand last year. If I sit there and feel sorry for myself, I'll just be ten times more miserable than I am. So I decided to do something about it. I've become a, a research advocate for Parkinson's disease. I'm not just sitting around with this disease and waiting for what's going to come next. That um, I can be proactive and help myself and help others to uh, find, uh, find a cure for this. My name is Dottie Vasoski. My name is Kathy Smith. My name is Marilyn Meese. My name is Debbie Hurlbert. My name is Jim Hurlbert. My name is Doug Benzulian. My name is Cindy Sather. And I'm, I'm the face of Parkinson's. Parkinson's.